Hi all, I haven't done puzzles for a while. Let's do a group of five rated puzzles. Uh, so this is from the play rated puzzles page of Chess World. Uh, let's see this one. Bishop e6 is an interference for the queen against the bishop. Uh, King c7. Hmm. Bishop a6 is taking, so I can't get to c8. Hmm. This could be tricky. Queen f3, if it takes check, king c7. Intriguing. I can try bishop e6. It's not a good move. Nope. These are taking a match or games, so um, yeah, they're, they're pretty tricky actually. Uh, maybe a good idea is bishop f7. Just trying to nab a pawn. So it takes rook d6. Nope. <laughs> uh, what to do here? Mm -hmm. Intriguing. Wow, what was played here, which was uh, convincing. Not sure I can see it. I just cannot see it. Let's let's see. It might not be a fantastic puzzle, but it's sometimes it's uh, might be five. <laughs> oh, hang on. This is this. Yeah, this this just unbelievable. Yeah, I think there's a point to this. So queen e7, let's have a look at the underlying master game. That's a Shirov tactic, blimey, this is really incredible stuff. <laughs> Black just resigned, <laughs> all right, uh, why? <laughs> if queen e7, Oh, blimey. Maybe queen takes hair. So say we have this. This is <laughs> pretty tricky stuff. If this is the line, this, I know it's bishop f1. It's pretty tricky stuff. But why is <laughs> kind of blimey. Uh, okay, I guess. I guess that, that stumbled me. Not, not a proficient start. Okay, these are going to be hard. Okay, black to play. I think if we queen, actually, yeah, I noticed check and the mating is not ideal. So if we play rook c3 to pin, rook takes, then queening, I think that gives us a bit of time. If 96, there's king f7, I think rook c3. Just to get a bit of time for b1, it looks good. There's also maybe rook h2 because if it takes bishop d6, which is better? I wonder. Maybe they're both kind of winning, but it seems to me that rook c3 is okay. Rook h2, yeah, king g2 with queen, if it takes bishop d6. Ah, go with rook c3. Uh -oh. All right. <laughs> Maybe this is more accurate. 
<laughs> Let's check the master game. Lebojevic. Does it matter if rook c6 uh, was played? All right, let's check here. Maybe there's a slight issue here that there's still some problems uh, after say rook f3 although i can't really imagine this is not winning i know there's 96 if we go queen e4 all right maybe rook h2 was was clearer <laughs> i'm not doing well today to try to guess these these master game combinations okay white to play Is it the case bishop d6? Bishop takes bishop e7. Bishop takes takes. Is the piece down there? <laughs> Crikey. Queen b4. If queen b6, bishop d6, surely. Maybe just queen b4. Mm, mind you, uh, taking. It's not exactly earth shattering to play queen b4. Queen a7 might be stronger. If it takes rook e7, looks very dangerous. Yeah, I, let's try queen a7. Uh, nope. I don't like this pin particularly. Um, uh, huh. Okay. Is it possible bishop d6, bishop b5, queen b4 is the idea? There is a double attack. Let's go with this. All right. I think maybe the idea is queen b4. Yes, I actually got one right. So, what master game was this? Kintaros. Yes, he's he's a strong player, grandmaster, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. If that is the right grandmaster, then <laughs> okay. White's play. Um. Knight e6 is interesting because it takes rook f4. If bishop f6, we got a pin. If king e8, bishop b5. Yeah, knight e6 looks like a crushing. Forcing move here. Whatever happens, king g8, bishop e6, baiting. This is a nice one. Oh, I like this one. Who played that? Leska, wow, that is some tactics. Let's have one more. I think it's tempting for bishop b5. It doesn't work, does it? Queen takes because this is pinned. This rook's pinned, so check this rook can't move to mate on e8. Maybe just rook e8 and just trying to win the queen. You know, takes, takes, bishop b5 and just trying to win the queen. Then this this doesn't seem to work. Bishop b5, queen takes d1. That's mistaken. Doesn't seem to work. So I'll go for rook e8. That does seem to kind of work. All right. And he played that. And that's a nice one. All right, Jonas against Richard Retty. He beat a hypermodernist with uh, 
that final little tactic well okay it's been a bit of a challenge today i was a bit daunted i think at the start but at least it got a couple at the end i don't know about you guys there's i don't know you have to be really precise but um i might do some engine checks on those those other ones uh at some point as well just to make sure were they really the precise moves i i guess it was like in the early puzzle okay i hope you got something from it comments questions likes appreciated thanks very much